I hope so. What's up? We're back. Oh, we're live? Yep. <laughs> What's up, guys? So we are doing some clear flex. Uh, we're not actually tinting a car. Well, we are with windshield protection tint. We're going to be putting um, the clear version on the blazer, and we might do the ceramic one, too. Um, play around with some different ones, just kind of see how things go. But I'm very new to this product. Um, we've been playing around with it for the last couple of days. And we're going to uh, log into my chat software because it logged me out. But yeah, we're going to play around with this um, and learn a lot about it. So if you guys have any questions about it as we go, definitely ask. And again, you can see Marco's here. Hello, everyone. That's how I'm learning. So we just posted. Um, uh, TikTok slash short slash reel too. You should definitely check it out. Um, just kind of like a broad demo of it. We shot the um, we shot a car yesterday with it, which is pretty fun. Why is my sound not working there? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that my audio is working here, and then we'll get going. I think there's an issue with the software, so I'm going to reset that. I usually reset the entire computer because that makes it work the best. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, a lot of people said hello already, but the chat was not working on audio, but now it is. So, and I lost all those people. Shady J, what's up, man? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, there's all my chat. What's up, guys? DW, Lionel, Car Gang, Exclusive, Alejandro, Sean, Gabriel, Face, Sh Sean, Dylan, Julians, Alejandro, what's up? Alejandro Gallegos, hello. We're using Clearflex, the original formula, the non uh, ceramic version. Yep, yep, we're using the clear stuff. Um, this apparently shrinks a little more difficult. Cody, what's up? <laughs> AMV? What's up, Cody? <laughs> Mr. Stelia girl. <laughs> All righty. Let me throw on a camera, and then we'll hop on over. Yeah, we will. He's uh, that's the first time that you've used the Wagner. The Wagner on Clearflex, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I've always used it. So he's actually, uh, he said good things about it. If I can, I'm gonna talk the owners into Clearflex. Nice. Is it like Exo Shield? Um, yes. I don't know. I like definitely okay, so I think different, I but. I've actually tried Exo Shield. And I haven't. It's, so this is a lot easier to um, the clear flex is a lot easier to shrink than the exo shield from my experience. But. I have not seen exo in person, but I have heard like it's a sim it's like it's a rigid type of film too. So there's going to be similarities for that, um, and I know dyno. I I know I don't know much about this whole category. I just seen exo shield dyno flex is the flex like the more PPF like one. And then also you guys should check out this TikTok where we shoot. Look at that. Mar we shot a windshield. Are you going to shoot the blazer with me? <laughs> I don't think so. No way you are shooting 
Oh, I probably got to turn this on. Marco's been making his round with this film. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Come on now. Do it. What's up, Julian? <sighs> Julian is the Wagner champion from uh, Sin of Battle 2. Nice. He went like 6-0. and oh. He beat like six straight people with that. Damn. Oh, yeah. What was he using? Torch? Wagner. Oh, Wagner? That little toy Wagner. No shit. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, he was smoking people. That thing, ah, that's so validating. Because, like, it's it's a really cheesy feeling gun, but I've always liked it. It gets hot. I think it's dumb hot. Imagine if he had a torch. <laughs> I know. Are you coming to the next Tinner Battles? Um, yeah, whenever that gets announced. I was going to be at the last Tinner Battles, but the problem was... We had a, I was, I was on the other side of the world when Tinner Battles was going on, so I couldn't come out there. We would have been out there, though. We scheduled um, a trip to the Philippines. We were gone for a long time. <laughs> All right, what do we need? Because everything's um, pretty much so here, so. we took so. the ceramic coating off, hopefully. Okay. Um, I have extra soap in the mix, just in case. Okay. Um, we already scrubbed it, squeegeed. Let's get All a right. measurement. So everything is, is like roughly cleaned. Um, like you said, I had a ceramic coating on this. Let's wet this glass. Oh yeah, it's um. It's a good ceramic still, coating. Very good. Jeez, there it goes. Okay. Well. we'll so do I might our do best a little coach. sticking. Yeah. Um, can you hold that for me? Thank you. Have I used, what is it? Ultra? Ultra Fit. No, I've never never used that before. I saw Chicago Auto Pros try and use it, but this shit did not shrink very easily at all. <laughs> they ended up just trashing it. Is it, it like an exterior film or is it like yep. PPF? Oh, Same okay. type of thing, like an exterior protection film. So 32. What was that? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I stretched out my uh, tint whiz tape measure. Thank you. So a trick that he does, um, he measures out the whole windshield and then he divides that in half. And then so he pulls half of it, rolls it up and then pulls the other half. <laughs> That's not 64. <laughs> it's definitely 64. True. Yes. That's good. Hello. What's up, guys? <laughs> Uncle Matt. <laughs> Uncle Matt. I don't know when I became Uncle Matt, but... <laughs> I like that. Someone said been, new that's skill. That's been going unlocked. on for a while. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't know who said that, but that's funny. New skill unlocked. I'm going to put my tool belt on just in case. Yeah. It's my blazer, I don't care. Four mil. Four mil thick. So this is the clear version. You'll see the difference when we're heat shrinking it. And Matt will tell you right away. There you go. God, I love that smell of that tint slip. <laughs> oh, this is big. Woo. We got some extra film to play with. Man, I from doing uh, definitely we can send you a sample. You don't have to be a, a dealer. Uh, yes, it can be dry shrunk. I just found that wet shrinking is a lot easier because you have control over your fingers. Good question. Any mobile installers? Good question. I. Do you want this to be a little lower, or? Yeah, let's let's bring that down. So you'll have to cut. Yeah, I was just trying yeah, to free up because this wiper gets in the way. And sometimes you have to take wipers off. I hate wipers now. Wipers with exterior film. 
are what super else? annoying. Just a little bit more. Oh, can't figure it out. Uh, uh, uh. Samples 48 inches by, I think, 15 feet. There we go. So good question. So you definitely have to, when you're installing this product, you have to take into consideration, you have to clean these wipers really, really good. If not, over time, obviously, you're going to scratch the film. So a good rule of thumb is after you wash your car, clean these really, really good. Mm. Yes, you can ceramic coat this. Good questions. Very, very good questions. Okay, DW, I think that's David Weimer. Send me a text. I'll get that uh, take care of for you. Don't worry. Get that. I got you. That's a fair point. I got you, chef. Okay. Okay, so you're overlapping a little bit. So this is also rolled on backwards or? Yes. Okay. Yep. So we'll have to flip this over. Um, no, this is the tint side. Or, like, when it comes time to that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the tint side still. So this has that rubber trim on the sides. This is different than both of the ones that we've done. Exactly. So This has that shitty, this thin... This is hard. This is where installers need to practice their cutting. We okay. have, like, these soft, flexible seals. Yep. I mean, you can definitely leave a little micro gap, but got to get good. Go to... If you want to go to the Clearplex Instagram, there's a link in the bio. You can request a sample there. Or can they do it on Matico.com? They can, but it's just um, it's easier to just go on the Instagram. <laughs> the Instagram. For sure. I'm going to get a tighter cut on this side. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see... Um, how it shrinks? What, well, that, but also what we do on the sides, because I haven't run into this yet. I'm just going to get really, really close. So this has that rubber trim here on this edge. All the glass that we've done so far has had exposed edges um, on the top and the sides, and then a rubber trim sometimes on the bottom. Um, so being that this is... Like, we've used this for classes, so I don't care as much, but this is a thin rubber trim, and if you take a little chunk out, you're definitely going to notice. So I would not care about leaving a little gap on the sides of something like that, but I want to see... Yeah, I would leave a gap for sure. Then that's I'm a, all good. I'm a panel guy, like so I'm comfortable taking stuff apart. I'm mm -hmm. not comfortable with taking A-pillars off because I'm just... I've I seen I've seen lots have. of eight pillars be removed, and the, it doesn't necessarily look like the funnest thing to do because the the clips can stretch yeah. out too. I'm gonna get a little bit more tighter here. So he's cutting that pretty close. So you're gonna leave this Ooh. overlapped on the edge just, just a little a bit. Just a little bit. All right. I'll do like my final cut later. I'll just do the same thing. I don't know how, I mean, I know DinoFlex is more of like a PPF film. Okay, all right. Let's shrink this baby. Let's do it. Wagner gang, let's see, how you do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll come around there. So it definitely requires a lot more heat. See how it doesn't react compared to the Yeah, it's slower. Nano ceramic, but it's still doing it. Yeah. So with this one, you have to push it in the direction that the fingers are going. So don't be scared to push it into another finger. Yeah, this requires way more heat. So yeah, so this is set up for wet shrinking too. So there's water underneath. Um and it gives you a little flexibility in moving the fingers and everything around still, but you heat it up at the base, and then you run that heat up the finger. So you don't have to get it perfect either, um, 
but shrink some of it. If a finger pops yeah, up see. somewhere else, then you just, down. See? yeah, that's good. And another thing that he pointed out too, I left this here, is whenever you see a whale tail, yes. that's a really good way to describe it. You want to split those apart and then makes the fingers smaller. So that'll make it a manageable size. Then you got two to deal with. Um, right. But you'll see it branching out at the bottom. Uh, Tony C's question. I believe so. Send me a message. I'll, I'll look into it for you. All right, moment of truth. That's a giant finger. That's a big one. Whew. Let's see. So with this film, I'm going to, remember, I'm going to start heating up higher to soften this edge, and then I'm going to work my way down. Yeah, so when you're doing the top um, or the, the base of it, like you can go shrink over the paint because you're going over where that windshield basically is to help everything lay down evenly. So it's shrinking. It's just it's a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Honestly, it doesn't even... Well, this isn't that... I was going to say it doesn't look that bad, but this also is not the most curved windshield ever. But notice, guys, I'm keeping this heat gun in constant motion. Especially with the Steinel, you want to keep it in the same motion because that is an extremely hot heat gun. And then notice the card that we're using, you want something felted because this is the tint side. So, so. this is the wet edge, but... This is really, oh, I was going to say this is just like a Lidco card, but it is, lidcoproducts.com, um, yes. with, uh, with like a suede end yep. edge on it. So <laughs> it, It's definitely not a lifetime warranty. It's 18 months or 18,000 miles, whichever comes first. So you'll need to track that information with the CRM like TintWiz. I don't know what other CRM yeah. works in this industry, but TintWiz. It can so. still get scratched up. Um, it's got a really aggressive hard coat, but it is a, something that can be damaged. So really the market for this right now is going to be just higher end cars and cars that are expensive to have the windshields replaced. Like uh, we just, so we shot that Challenger windshield and that out of pocket is what? 600 bucks? 61152 to be exact. Yeah. So that's just, and that's not with any special treatment or anything to it. Like it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't need a recalibration. So that's oh, literally that's... just factory glass. And, uh, yep, expensive. So this retails, the normal one, you would said, like, anywhere between, like, what, 450 and Four 650 to... Yes. Just on, like, De an average car, Depending I think. on the car, yeah. So it's still expensive. And depending on your insurance, depending on the state that you live, this isn't going to make sense for everybody. There you go. But the difference between a $600 for, like, a standard windshield is still, like, ooh, that's getting up there. Exactly. The nice thing about the ceramic one, though, too, is, is it's a two-for-one. So you can do a ceramic version that literally adds the same type of ceramic heat protection that you would get from a ceramic tint. But then you also get the exterior protection on your windshield, too. Okay, Matt, your turn. This thing's been warming up for a couple minutes. For, like, minutes. an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's piping hot. All right. Dang it. I got to work. Okay. So let's see what I learned. So start at the top. We want to go over the paint. Keep moving. Yeah, I don't feel like this stuff is shrinking very well. Yep. It's it's going, but oh my god. It's starting to burn it, I think. Yep. That's burned for sure. But at least it's burned more, out of the yeah, way. More movement for sure. More movement. Uh Clearflex is working on a clear version that shrinks like the nano ceramic. So that should be out hopefully by the end of the year to replace this version. So this burn up here, that would be okay because it's out of the way? Yes. Okay. Yep, and then we have more room at the bottom just in case. That's kind of my goal. 
I'm gonna fry it. It's gonna be out of the way. Exactly. Yep. And then I can at least move because it was that that was a bigger finger. I should probably go. Yeah. There, huh? Got it. I got it. So something like this, the pillar is what's kind of keeping this there. Probably some. Yeah, where installers are gonna struggle the most is the cutting part, for sure. If you're a plotter baby, you gotta practice your hand skills, your hand cutting skills. You're <laughs> a plotter baby. <laughs> There's a super chat there. Hang on, I'll make the fog go up. That one's a little. No, not good. Can't be scared to crease it. I was the same way. I was learning this. There you go. Not scared. <laughs> Put me in, coach. There you go. You got it. Love that heat gun. Yes, whoever made that comment, uh, Matico does sell these pre-shrunk in this original version. So literally, it's already pre-cut, it's shrunk. When you get the film, squeegee and install it. That's nice. Yeah. All right, let me check out this. <laughs> let me check out this. What's up, uh, Brandon? Um, I might not have softer open or the seam change. Oh, seam changed. Daniel Reyna. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Daniel Reyna with the 10. Thank you. That was funny. Salutations, Master Matt. Can you train me? <laughs> Come on down. So I'm using the yellow Wagner, the $35 one, and Matt was using the Steinel HG2320E. Yeah, let me see that one. I'll show a comparison here. So this is what you see me use in all the videos. One reason for that is this is just a cheaper accessible heat gun. I think this is the best of the cheap heat guns though. Up from there, I don't really recommend anything in between until you get to this guy. So this will be, I don't know, anywhere from like 180 to 250. Like there's a bunch of models kind of in this range, but this one was what, like 250? 260? Some, some, so right under around there. Amazon has it for like 360. Um, the link that you posted yesterday is a lot cheaper. Yeah, and then this one you can buy at Home Depot for like 30 bucks now. That that's expensive for this gun now. These used to be like 20 dollars, mm -hmm. and now they're 30 dollars. Damn inflation. Yes. Hey. <laughs> 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 what was that? Oh, super sticker. Gabrielle, thank you. Thank you for the five. Thank you for the hippo super sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking forward to meeting you too, brother. Don't be starstruck. I'm just human, just like you. Aww. I'm grab my All right, so did you want to use, do you want to? Keep, do you want to install this? Or do you want the nano ceramic version on your windshield? I want to, let's install this okay. one and then we'll see where time is at and probably okay, just do another one on it too. We'll go through the whole thing. So it might look, at, let's say you keep the nano ceramic version on there or yeah. even this one. So your, your vision from the, the optical clarity from the inside looking up might be a little off because you have tint already. Okay. So you're looking through tint, glass, and then another film. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Nice. Coffee. Okay. That's coffee money. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Daniel Reyna with the 10 Starbucks cash. <laughs> For reals. Good timing. Marco's been treating us to Starbucks. He's been really nice. Yes, And I then have. Daniel Reyna again with another five and just because. Damn, dude. Thank you. 
It is now smoky in here. <coughs> <laughs> nice. Let me... What's up, man? Yep, we're doing um, Clearplex training today. It's, we've been doing it over the past couple of days. We've been making some videos. We just posted a, um, a TikTok that we put a lot of work into yesterday. You should definitely check it out. Um, it's also a YouTube short. And a reel. But we shoot a Challenger windshield with Clearplex, and then we shoot it without Clearplex. So that was fun. We just dropped it off this morning to get replaced. I want to use your glass aid on this. Oh, okay. Let's try that. This is actually would be a really good example. Huh. Is the smoke going to affect the install? No. It's quick dissipating fog, so it goes away really fast. It's <laughs> oh, no. Unless people do that. Brandon Mills, thank you. Uh, yes, I'm in Florida. I was actually in Florida last week. Not Brandon sure Mills with the 20. Damn, dude. Thank you. Adding lunch money for you guys. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. Very generous of you. All right, so the trick is it has to be dry. Seems pretty dry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think they do. Yeah, of course. Matico yeah, Medico still, still says film. window film. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I like the nice towel there, and then you get a spot to set all the tools out. So you have a lot of bigger squeegees, too. This is no joke. You, This is much more preferred over this one. Oh, my God, you guys. Thank you, guys. All right. Top tent service with the five. Marco and Matt, what a team. Oh, that's oh, you guys uh, that's are really cash. nice. What's Thank up, you. Cash? Oh, yeah, duh. That's Cash. All right. Um, should I use a ninja blade or a regular I'd blade? use the stronger blade. The Just whatever's going to make it easier to cut. You could even put, you could even put like a regular stainless steel blade inside the the green holder. Oh my god! It's Sean, <laughs> will you stop fogging the man and let them work? Thank you. <laughs> Fog it up, it's Sean good. with a five. <laughs> will you stop fogging Matt and let the man? Is work? that Sean Roche from? Is that window tent warrior? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. That would have been cool. All right. Okay, Matt, I like this. Really? Yep. No kidding. I don't have to worry about cutting the seals. Well, you still could dig through it if you <laughs> push too hard. Yes, true. Trying not to cut too hard. So did you overlap it, or you just butt it right up to it? Um, I overlapped it. OK. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm sold on that, for sure. Look at that. Nice little gap. OK, I like that. So especially if you want to get this, like, yeah. look how soft these seals are. Yeah. Oof. You don't want to cut that. No. It looks yeah. like somebody burned it pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably from the glass. So we want to move it out of the way. So ideally, then you would, we would do that before. Yes. Clean it off, glass aid it, and then do it. Yep. It's like. I'm looking good. Nice. Okay. Damn. Cool. I'm sold. It's glass aid. All right. oh, I didn't know that'd be helpful. That's cool. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, we'll we'll set it up. Um, it dry, huh? I'm interested too. I guess I could have went. Ooh. If it's wet, it's not going to stick too much. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dang it. It's really got to be dried out. So, prep it ahead of time. Do you want to use a heat gun and just like dry out those spots? Yeah, let's um let's just do it all in one shot just so it's done right. Yes, that is me. <laughs> that oh is my me God. in the flesh. Um, so. Yeah, what should we do? Let's. Are they asking me that question? Expensive car that I tinted probably was the Bugatti that I did a uh, Clearplex. That was a five million dollar car. That's five. Yeah. Woo. Pretty expensive. So let's just completely take this off, and then yeah. we'll dry the bottom, and then we can just place it later. Where do you want to do? Just put it right here. Yep. That's good. Oh, I don't have a Bugatti, <laughs> but the Bugatti was silver. It's on my uh, my Instagram, I believe. Definitely on my Facebook. At the film trainer. Yes. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna dry out and touch up all the edges, and then we'll try glassating them and see how that goes. Because these rubbers, they're very spongy, and a lot of dirt will hide underneath it, so. What's up, Evan? When you're cutting through a really thick film, trying to get that cut perfect is tough. I wonder if these wipers swing out of the way. Let's move them at the same time just in case. No. Nope. Damn. Yeah, you can use any type of microfiber when you're tinning. Um, some leave more lint than others, but that's not really a problem because your squeegees are going to do all the cleaning. What now? Oh my gosh, these guys are hilarious. Matt, I think you're inspiring me to go live on YouTube more because this is fun. The heat going into this regular use. Yeah, we're. Um, I'm going to pick up two of those heat guns. Oof, this one's kind of difficult, this angle. Yeah, with stuff in the way. I'm trying to color in those lines here. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. I'm not going to be able to reach. What, that? Yeah. yeah. I can pull it this way, though. Nice. All right, a new tool to my arsenal. They're good yeah, right. Which one looks like a hairdryer? The Steinel? The Steinel? No. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, unless you have a super hairdryer. Exactly. I think the Fusion heat gun looks more like a hairdryer than Steinel. Yeah, the Fusion one's like a old school soldering one. That one blows a lot of air. It's an interesting gun. Yes, you know what? Yes, David is David Weimer is correct. He was the one that sh that uh, showed me glasshead. Like, oh yeah, I think two and a half, three years ago. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. wow. In San Antonio. Yep. But I never thought to do it on a clear box. Yeah, we're just 
marking out the border. Um, this isn't something that we've... So did you overlap it at all, or just... Oh, no, no, that's no. what you meant, no, yeah. Uh -uh. Okay, yep. you just butt it right up yep, against exactly. it. Okay. All right. Now, if this gets wet, mm -hmm. will it come off? Um, not if it's applied right. Okay. So you do want to, you'd, you'd probably want to spray clean and dry all the edges. So you might want to do that with like an alcohol spray even. Got it. But it's got a really sticky adhesive. So got it. we'll kind of nice. see if it's okay. overlapping. The underneath is going to start to get wet, so we'll just we'll play around with this. We'll and try we'll not see. to wet it too much. Um, no, you'll be fine because yeah. it's all going to drip okay. down anyways. Just want to get a good pattern. It's just um, when I first started using uh, when I first started using it, I, I'd wipe off the glass with like a towel, and then I noticed like, yeah, hey, if it's greasy, it's gonna it's gonna start coming loose. So then you start making those little adjustments for it. So this is. This is the first time using it with this film, so figuring um, out all those little We'll kind of tweak this way if we can twist the film this way. Just because my, or we can just, uh, do you have a lot of room on the sides? Yeah, I've got, I've got like an inch. Okay. I mean, Okay, little gap. Cool. Let's make a. Mm. Let's tack it so it doesn't move. Okay. Because, yeah, I still have overlap on the side if you need okay. more room. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, so again, we would do this before all of that. Yeah, back uh, two years ago, that's all I knew was tuck tape. Yeah, tuck tape is still awesome. That is a super aggressive tape. It works really, really well. Yeah, it's called the wet, wet edge. Wow, this is really good. You can cut with confidence with this. I love it. Yeah, because I can see exactly I love where it. I need to see. Yep. I can see where I need to see. And you just cut right as close to the edge as you can. And depending on where you put that line, like, that's that's the most important part. Once yeah. you get your line set up right, beautiful. Then you can cut that out, leave a little micro gap there. I'm not oh, gonna lie, cool. when I was cutting, I was like before this. Was, yeah. You know, I don't want to cut the seals. No, and you can't like drying it out is like you said is as best as you can do. Right. I'm kind of just. I guess I'll get used to this whole cutting thing yeah. as I go. All right. So what I'll do. I put this really low, so I'm gonna go. I'm really used to cutting on this too, so. And if you're working with a partner while they're cutting, don't jump on and off the car. <laughs> You'll mess up their cuts. Wipers. I'm like, I'm 100% gonna get rid of every wiper if I do this stuff. Um, you're going to want to get in contact with Matico. You can reach out to me. I'm not that difficult to find at the film trainer everywhere. I'll send you some samples. Or, or you can at go the on the, film trainer. Yep, the Clearplex Instagram. You, there's a link in the bio. You can fill that out, and uh, we'll get you samples sent out that way as well. Whatever's easier for you guys. Oh, 
现。Good question. I can give you that pricing right now. Hold on. Now that Matt's finished cutting. Yeah, this is really tough. So this went way easier when you got wipers and stuff in the way. Ooh. The Clearplex so Nano Ceramic is anything. 2217. Sorry, Matt. Good. No, they're just going to go back down. Do you shrink it like tint? Um, so we were wet shrinking it. You can wet shrink window tint the exact same way that you shrink this, but this stuff is very thick. Um, and honestly, wet shrinking, wet shrinking this stuff is not that hard. It's just something you gotta get a little bit used to. I think it's well worth it. All right, we'll be done with this in a sec. Twenty two ten for Clearplex Nano Ceramic. The nano ceramic version anywhere from six to nine hundred dollars. Uh, Tesla's I would be anywhere from thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred because those are the most difficult front there windshields to do. Sweet. Yeah. All right, now we'll peel this out. Yes. All right. Sick. Okay, what's next? Then we are going to reverse roll this. So we have to flip this around. So we're gonna flip this around because so we're gonna reverse roll it. If you had a peel board, that would be ideal. Yes. But if you don't, this works. Okay. I'm gonna do my little triangle. Uh, is that how you do it too? Um, I do one fold like this yeah. and then I pick up the rest of it. But being that it's all wet underneath that like this sticks a little bit more when you pull the liner. That makes a lot more sense on this. I'm gonna put this corner. So he's gonna here. do a triangle method. So pull from here, pull up from here, and he's gonna pull up uh, at that point right there. And then he's, that gets you the halfway. Put it all back. Uh, do you need a hose? Um, Here. Yeah. This reaches. The tint buster has tint an extension buster. cord. Oh, this is not tint. It is tint, but it's not tint. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to peel this. So when you wet underneath and you're ready to do like a reverse roll, if it's not quite stuck down, then you got to be a little bit more careful about how hard you pull it off of the glass because the whole thing can just start to peel off. This has a little bit more grab to it, so that's why if you're pulling from one corner and then pulling from the other, you're not putting as much like pulling force on the film. I know I've said this like 10 times, but that tin slip smells really good. <laughs> It really does. I'm a fan. All right. Okay. Okay, so that side is this side. So I'll roll All right. this up. That's a good question. It doesn't smell better than all type, it's just different. It is, it Dang, is different. putting me on the spot with those <laughs> questions. I like it. 
Um, uh, so we left it on the top extra just in case we messed up on the bottom, but because of the glass aid, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that. So we could have trimmed it a lot closer. Okay. Because I didn't introduce the glass aid into my install process because I never thought to use it until here. Look at that. Learning stuff here too. For sure. All right, let's do uh, wet and squeegee. Yep, there's your spray back. Thank I'll you. grab mine too over here. Where did I put it? Oh yeah, we were doing. So we were using these. <laughs> these have metal BBs in them right now. So these are actually like nice airsoft guns, but then I got like six mil BBs for them, like metal BBs. So they'll put a hole in a lot of stuff from far away. They're scary. Oh, then we gotta do that like paintbrush squeegee type thing. Yes. Oh no, that's far away. Thanks. I got gotcha. you. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Brandon, enjoy your day, man, with your family. It's way more important than watching us. All right. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So this is weird for me to get used to, but we're squeegeeing it upside down. This, yes. I wouldn't on, have thought of this. On this side of the blade, and then we're just going. So there's that bevel there, and we're flipping it upside down. Yep. I found that it just hugs the glass a lot easier, but you do need to put more pressure. Yeah, you, or else you do that, and you leave yep. stuff behind. Although I could use the, the Libman squeegee, right? And yes. then we've got, I've got that other squeegee. Yep, that one's good as well. So when you get this right, this is actually really cool because it's just from the bottom up and then it's perfectly dry. And I learned that from the Texas squeegee, Carlos Olazaba. That's crazy. Yep. I would never have thought of that. That's so cool. Me neither. I saw him do it. I'm like, why are you what the doing hell are you like doing? that? It's like, huh, that was, it's clean. That was my reaction. Why are, we, why are we doing upside down? Here. I'm going to try from this. Yep. Any, any type of wide squeegee that just conforms to the glass is going to be really good to use. That's, that's why I like these so much. Um, but there's another squeegee, too, that he just showed me the other day that I'm going to have to, uh, or that I bought. I'm just waiting on getting it. Nice. That might have more soap in my this one, maybe. All right, let's try it. I tend to go pretty heavy, but three, uh, three ounces in a keg in the three gallon, but All right. then there's less than three gallons in there. I gotta take a gallon jug and see how many gallons I really use in a keg to measure that out. And also, if you leave a little extra film on the top, you can have something to grab on. Oh, that's a fair point. Because, yeah, you can, you can hold it here. And then just careful at the bottom. And then unroll it. And you kind of support it off the top and then slide it down. Yes, yeah, so this is an exterior protection film. Okay. Oh yeah, you went this way. Wow, this is a, even with the ceramic coating on there, it's still sliding. That soap's good, man. I'm a fan. Good. Get our alignment. I don't like guns. Bro, I'm in Detroit. Who doesn't like guns? <laughs> in like <laughs> Detroit suburbs. <laughs> Detroit, Metro Detroit area, it's very not Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> but you're close enough, to Detroit. Oh yeah, it's definitely got more grab to it, though. It's starting to really like freeze yeah, up because of the coating. Yep, sure. yep. So but that was still a, a good amount of. I'd, I'd want a little bit more wiggle room, but yeah, I can see that. Could I use this as my light squeegee? Go ahead, try it. There you go. I should have been doing this one. I'm so much more comfortable with this. It's just lighter. Thank you, guys. 
thanks for answering those questions for us. I don't know if you can push it, though. I've never tried pushing it. Oh, there's a string. Okay, I like how we got really good cuts with the glass head, for sure. Nice. Yeah, play around with it more. Let I'm me know how it works in, in other situations and stuff. Definitely a believer. I wish I had that on a Bugatti. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so once you... Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm missing steps here. So then we trim it to exact size. We didn't do size. our final pass, but I just wanted to... Okay, so rough cut, get it close. Yep. So we have a nice groove in here. Yep. So this one's way easier to cut. You just don't want to drag it into the rubber. I call it floating glass. Anytime there's glasses floating like that, you can get your blade in there with, and you can cut with confidence. You don't have to worry about cutting seals. All right, and then we're gonna do our final. Then this is the final pass. The final pass. So I highly suggest this squeegee over just the extended um, fusion handle, this extra, you'll see. Yep. This gives you some extra oomph behind it, where this one, not quite as much. And I like this, I like this one because it's squared, so it's just more point of contact on the glass, so it just can put Have you pressure. seen the, the wider red line, too? Yes. Have you ever tried that? No. No? Okay. I kind of want to. I have one. Hmm. I'll have okay. to I'll dig it out. and. Kind of like you're doing a push-up, you got to push hard. Yep, and it's flexing right against the glass. So that back yep. pressure that helps just like strokes. you're literally like you're Push shoving hard. that water out. So on this one, it works. I just don't have as much leverage. Oh, yeah. All right, second workout of the day done. <laughs> Can you tint the windshield after? That's a good question. I mean, it would be really tacky. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try that out. Okay. Oh, there's not. I thought there was a cut. Yep, 100%. Longer handle definitely helps. And then what he said with these rubber edges, like they do hold water, they will flex when you push against them. So you kind of want to make sure it's in one pass or you don't screw with them very much. And then notice the direction that Matt was squeegeeing. Um, you went from this section, you went this way. Center out. Center out versus going from the top all the way down and then back up because you don't, here I'll explain it over here. You don't want to squeegee here, come back up because you're going to bring dirt from up here and scratch the film, so. Um, it can still contaminate the same way tint does. I think it's a little bit more forgiving. I'm, I'm honestly surprised with that. But there's still, just with pulling it back and you know, because we wanted to put glass aid under it, we threw it back up there, stuff like that. That's probably not ideal. Over on this side, like there's a little, gotta make sure this gets pushed down. There's and also, a we specs. didn't really clean the car really, really good. Yeah, we weren't thorough on cleaning the car. That was a big thing. It was kind of just like, I just pulled it in. I, I haven't given this thing a bath in a while. Yeah. So if you're gonna do this, definitely have the car cleaned. So wash the car. Yeah, actually act like you care about it. Yeah. I'm just post heating the perimeter to seal this up. So this this a lot for me is learning all the installation steps and then from there go above and beyond and uh, refining everything. Yes, it definitely helps from rocks and road debris. Yep. And BBs. And BB guns. Yeah, no kidding. So what do you think compared to the nano ceramic? A little bit different, right? A little bit different. But it's not um, it's definitely doable. 
I, I could see on a really curved one it taking me a little time to get used to, right. where the ceramic one was definitely just quicker from, from the beginning. Right. Um, but as far as the learning curve, I'm really surprised with, like, just how straightforward the whole process is. Um, it's, not, it's not that difficult. The shrinking part on really curved ones would be. And just making sure you keep everything clean, obviously, is a hard part. Right. But, yeah, that, that's a nice edge. I'll get closer and show you guys the edge that I cut on this side. Oh, that too. I do that a lot. I'm not used to these cards. Um, so sometimes you press it over and then it grabs the end of the film and I rip it back and then that's really, yep, see that? See all the bubbles there? That's really bad to do. Oh, I don't even think I wiped out the top of this edge or anything. You mean like cleaning it? <laughs> yeah. Neither did I. <laughs> the next one we will. I forget. Should I try and seal this down beforehand and um, then cut it? Try to get it, it as flat it? as possible and then do your final cut and then you can post heat it. Like, see what I'm doing? And then so I'll post heat it and then squeegee you up. But this like, will require way more heat. I think than the I nano messed ceramic. up this See, spot I had the same thing. Bit. Uh, no, you're good. Do your final cut and then post heat and okay. that'll lay down. And then I'll grab. For sure. It's just letting that water back in. Um, another thing, I'm going to swap out, I'm going to put a stainless blade in this one um, and see how this goes. But one thing that he mentioned is stainless knives up against it, you need to press the film against the glass and it'll, yep. the, so like a red dot, that'll leave a score. Use a plastic knife um, and also a carbon blade is going to be a little bit better of an option. Love those ninja blades. I'm going to try go. this stainless steel one and the plastic knife for this, this time and see how this goes. Because just being able to hold the film in place while you cut it helps get that perfect edge. There. Also, the way that blade is made, like it keeps the film down, like this little part right here. Keep yeah, the flat edge keep on the, the holder. Film in place. So on a lot of the plastic holders too, um, and the metal ones that are rounded here. This is nice and yeah. flat, so you can kind of angle this. This one's round. Yep, this you one. This is the plastic one that I was using. This is a really cool one because it's a cartridge one. You can hold like five blades in here. Um, it's pretty rounded at the end where this one has a nice flat spot. So when you put that up on the glass, you can keep that flat going right against there. Um, oh yeah, that's yours. Let me grab the heat gun again. We'll try and fix this a little bit. It's definitely not perfect because I pulled it back a couple of times. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah, but the cuts on the side are really, really good. I like that. For sure, that's gonna be a game changer for installers that are doing this every single day. There you go. Oh yeah, that lays down way better. Keep uh. the heat gun in motion. Woo. Oh. Yes, there you go. Okay, so I, I see why that's happening. Because you're pushing it in another direction. You want to just go straight up. You just want to go up. straight up. Watch. Go ahead and heat it right here. I'll do yeah. It. More like this. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yep. Done. Damn. What I, what I was running into is flexing that on the edge. And the way I pull it back, I yep. kept yanking yep. the film back. So I was trying to not do that. So think of it as you're placing the film on the glass. And then more like roll off the yep. end or something. Like that. Good job. It's 
Steinel HG 2320. We will leave the link okay. in the comments later. There you go. And it's nice to press everything down early, but you could let this settle, dry out a little on the edges, come back, and then touch everything up, or should you just attack it right away? No, I would say if you're already there, do your final touches. You don't okay. want to, you don't want to just leave the car and come back on it, and you might forget. Okay. And a bubble might, because gravity might bring it down. You want to be able to catch everything and do a good perimeter seal. Okay. And if you know that the that it's going to rain the next day, try to keep the vehicle indoors. Now test it with the gun. <laughs> you know. Nice, dude. The thing about using the gun on it is um, we already had to drop one car off to get replaced. <laughs> I don't want to mess up your car. I don't no just way. want to do it. Uh, this still has to cure. Like, So we did the Challenger yep. and gave it cure time because everything's wet, so that glue really isn't bonded to the glass either yet. So it's not a completely... No, it's not a complete cop out, but there's uh, to be extra safe. I would want this to sit overnight. I just don't want to have to try and buy a fucking windshield. <laughs> it I'm pretty it confident. Raining, so. so even yeah. even with all the testing yesterday, it was it was pretty cool to see how strong glass really is. Um, yeah, sure. It might seem like, oh, just a little wimpy rock hit your windshield and it broke. Um, no, the, the glass was gen Like, we really had to pelt the glass to get it to break, yep. too. But still. There you go. That is done. I test it with the gun. I want to see what the clear version looks like with interior tint. <sighs> be a little different with that 50 right yeah that 50 is still very smooth though it definitely doesn't add um anything that i can see to the windshield though as far as like because with that ceramic it has a little blue Right. And it definitely has a little shade to it. This just, I mean. 100% clear. I, yeah, yeah. I could lift half of it and then do a, just show a comparison and really see. But, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't add anything to the windshield that I can see. Looks good. Cool. All right, you want to rip it off? <laughs> or do you want, you want to leave it? Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do the ceramic one now. Okay. We'll go again. All right, I'll sit in here so we can see too. Okay. Just cool. the difference and pull it off. So it'll probably be like just a little bit lighter. Oh no, you can't even, you can't even tell. Again. All right, well, we'll prep it again. And this time we'll clean out the edges a little bit. We'll glass aid them and then, and then do it again. Let's do it. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> this is training. This, this is what you do. Constant repetition. You gotta mm -hmm. build that muscle memory. That is how you get better. <laughs> 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 the LA fitness guy is back. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Can someone make a meme of that, please? The, uh, just, yeah, right? Please, yes. Make a meme. Post it in the window tint stuff Facebook group. You can make fun of me. I'm okay with it. That's funny. <laughs> it's just like, sweet, the LA fitness guy is back. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny, dude. Okay. I mean, ideally, you could even 
you could even put the glass aid on the top for like installers that are not comfortable with cutting how we were cutting. Yeah. You could do it there too. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it was a good one. Ah, oh, it's so funny. I think that was the same guy that I was asking, like, what shirt I was wearing or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Oh, yeah, and he's totally going to get Lululemon pants, too. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Maybe not the same ones that you think, but... <laughs> hey, they're comfortable. Um, so you can PPF glass, but you get the same results as clear plaque. So this is... Um, going to be, or this is, this is Clearplex. Sorry, I was thinking of the other one. The, I don't remember all the names. Um, but there is Dynoflex, which is more of like a PPF style one. This is the, uh, more of a rigid one. But you'll see with uh, ceramic, the ceramic is going to shrink easier. Yeah, we'll have that done in like five minutes. Heck yeah. I like this. Nice. Yeah, and this is like right up my alley as far as prep goes. This isn't anything different for me to just line this. The only thing is I will swear up and down about these wiper blades. <laughs> like, yeah. fuck those. I've never thought, like, my, whenever I look at windshields, everything past yes. the border doesn't matter to me. But now with, with clear plaques, you're gonna have that line, so you need to hide that line, so that's why we're going all the way to the bottom and protecting that part of the glass too, right? You're, you're protecting the entire outer, outer section of it. Thanks, Ben. So with these wipers completely out of the way, this would be a lot easier. Also, if you're in the windshield replacement game, this is right up your alley too, because then you can remove the cowls and then just, you don't have to worry about an edge anymore. That's nice. Yeah, I like this, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, it, it definitely blocks out um, heat. It's 90% IR uh, heat rejection. Does it, do you, does it have um, I think he was asking, does it help any more with damage protection, or it's going to be basically the same, just you pick a ceramic In option of versus... like a rock and road debris? Yeah. The same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like this setup. This is definitely ideal, for sure. I should have dried this out a little bit better, but it is sticking. Yes, liner side is down. We are shrinking on the tint side. Let me heat this up just a sec. All right. What's the price on a roll? Okay, um, that was asked a lot. Let me just get that info right now. That's where they these, go. Oh, shit. These prices are um, subject to change. Um, let's see, click price. Okay, so the Clearplex Nano Ceramic 48 by 100 is uh, $2,116. You can do about 17 windshields with that, and you can buy this in increments of 25 feet. Nice. And then the 100% clear version, 48 by 100 is $1,484. That comes in 36, 48, 60, and 72 inch. Oh, okay, so the clear yeah. one's like significantly cheaper. Yes. Interesting. Yep. Oh, that's cool. It breaks out to be $3.71 a square foot. Okay. Uh, for this one, for Clearplex Nano Ceramic, at least $600. So that price is definitely 
really steep for your average car, and that's not what this stuff is is geared for right now. Um, so you're talking more like exotic cars. That's going to be your main demographic, yep. um, or where your windshield replacement costs are just going to be like astronomical in comparison. Because like even now, like what I was saying at the beginning of the stream, we we uh, paid to replace a Challenger one that didn't need a recal. Um, replacement cost with OEM glass is six hundred dollars. <laughs> so you basically just threw away. Yeah, we're training, man. Pretty much. Um, that's the nice thing about setting up a, a program like this is like you need to put in that time mm -hmm. um, to do that kind of training when you're then going to customers' cars. So. <laughs> <laughs> I almost whoa one. man I was definitely not saying that this was that's why I didn't want to shoot it is this is so exotic you just don't see many of these on the road you know <laughs> I swear you guys are awesome I love these comments mm -hmm. God I love it if somebody really I hope somebody really makes the meme of the they called me LA fitness guy God <laughs> hey but I'm wearing different shoes this time mm. he's got his fancy shoes on yeah, these are my flying shoes. That's what I wear when I get on airplanes. I'm comfortable. Oh, for sure, Jeeps yep. all day. And also the benefit of the Jeeps, they're extremely flat. Like, you don't even need to shrink it. So they're just way easier to yes. do. Yes, and then also the perimeter, the glass, it's all floating. Mm. So, like... And you'd probably be able to get two Jeep windshields in one vertical piece, too, right? Double the Jeeps. Exactly. Jeeps is your money, your money maker right there. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Cash is the goat, man. This is like the friendly roast of Marco. That's it's fine. Great. I'm it's okay so with funny. it. It's so funny. Please. It's <laughs> <sighs> so funny. I do always wear black. It's, it's true. I like black. All right. I wear um, too much. What is our measurement again? Was it 68? Yes. It might have been less. 30. Yeah, the I other pulled, ones were 68. I pulled a bunch. I think this one was a little bit less. 68, so what's half of 68? 34. Uh, 34. I've done that one too many times now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. How long should something like this take? Um, solo? An hour and a half? About an hour and a half. Yeah. So, a um, couple things if you are, um, like, that would help out is if you're doing a detail or you are doing a window tint and you tend to wash cars before you even tint them. Stuff like that is going to help speed up your time a little because you're already doing those other things. So if your car is clean, that's going to help with everything. Um, there's just not as much prep involved in that. Posted oh, a picture yes. of that light that mounts oh, under Oh, that was stack. you. Thanks, man. Yeah, we saw that. That was cool. And then we also saw the, like, temperature gauge um, that was there, too. That was cool. I'm not really good at reading Spanish, so whoever's writing in Spanish, I, I'm sorry. I understand it, but reading it is not that good. Sorry. And then the robot voice doesn't do a good job of actually speaking it, either. Una taller? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, Jack. Sorry. All right, so we got another piece. So we'll spray the outside. This is a little bit more cleaned. Everything's prepped ahead of time um, with Glass Aid 2, so this is an interesting run for me. All right, so wiper usage. You have to have clean wipers. So. I was really thinking about that yesterday, too, because yeah. it was raining a lot uh, yesterday night. Yeah. 
and we just had that on the Explorer, so I was using wipers on that yesterday. Yeah. But you can also ceramic coat. So this is where, like, you guys can just charge stupid amounts of money for, like, this kind of stuff. Correct. Um, this can also be ceramic coated to help protect against that stuff. Um, I can tell you with the ceramic, it beat it, it beat it some, but it wasn't as good as a ceramic coating. Um, so it would, it would be nice to have a ceramic coat on top of it. Dang, did I pull a lot? I guess I did. Okay, so just careful with that bunching up right there. Yeah, I All think right. that's the problem I had last time. <laughs> let, me, let me cut that out. That's why I had it propped up a little last time. What was the question? Yes, I live in San Antonio. Yep. Mm. I do not recommend buffing this. You'll, you'll definitely scratch it. I've seen the same thing with paint protection film where yeah. they were like, oh, yeah, you can buff it. And I've never seen a successful buff yeah, of paint no. protection film. No like, you can treat it just like paint. Mm -mm. Yeah, like if sap collects on it, what's the deal there? That is a good question. Let me... I check. think if you're getting... Okay. the I think that's going to be less common for more people just because... Yeah. People that are getting this product too, they're not just parking Keeping it their car outside like that. under a yeah. tree in their driveway. They generally have like a nice space to put their car in. But yeah, you never know. Like, you know. God, these, I love the glass aid. This is really gonna be um, just just the, the type of person that's getting it, right? Like if you're spending this amount of money on windshield protection film. Uh, no self-healing features. This is not a PPF film. Yeah, you're just gonna have a different, a different life when you're, <laughs> when you're getting this stuff on your car. Oh, I stole two of these. It's all good. Let me start your heat gun. I'm going to. I kind of want to try the Wagner. Okay. Cool. Oh no! Who asked that? The um, Tesla Model X and Y, these are the, those are the most difficult windshields to do with this product, hands down. So that, <laughs> if you're going to do that with ClearPlex, you want to charge 1300 bucks, 13 to $1,500. Yes. Trust me, you're going to want to get that extra money. Um, yep. No, I would not use the torch on this. It's too much heat. Teslas are a different animal when it comes to window tint um, and exterior films. They have big windshields, they have big back windows, and they're always more curved. Any of the, like pretty much any EV has crazy curved glass. Even like what, like the Mustang Mach E windshield? Yeah, it's like, curved. That thing is super bubbly too. Yep. All right. Whale tail. Does anybody ever put this on a sunroof? I don't, I guess I don't see a reason to. I don't know why I asked, but. <laughs> Elon hates tenors. Oh my God. <laughs> You're his tin dad. As a thief protection. Good. Ooh. Actually good. How about we do that in the next video, the next time I'm up here? Yeah. Huh. Because we could, so you can do it on a door window on the outside, and the way a lot of um, thieves break in is they'll take a spark plug or something sharp, they'll poke it and your glass will shatter. So this prevents you from being able to poke the glass in a way that it's just going to shatter. Like there's those window punches that one of their... Their most popular um, video by far was using one of those punchers um, on a windshield. And every time you punched it, it didn't have, uh, over the clear plex, it didn't damage the glass, which is super cool. I want, I want to know how my TikTok is doing. I'm going to check quick. Yeah, how is it doing? Let's see. Let's see how this is doing. All right, so when we started, we had... 9,300 views. Moment of truth. 
a hundred and ten thousand views now. Holy shit, that is doing. Let's go, homie. Boom, that's a good video. Wow. Oh my god, I was I was expecting twenty. I was like, if this is doing really well, twenty. Wow. A hundred and ten thousand views right now. Let's go. Whew. Oh my god. You guys, the film as, trainer has entered the I chat. Thought, <laughs> I thought this video was yeah. not happening quite. We didn't like, know. Yeah. Oh. For sure. It's just a big relief. <laughs> it really is. Because you put, like, you see, you saw that whole process. You yeah. put so much thought and work into a video. People and at don't the end know, of the man. day, yeah. I'm like, I don't know if this will work. It could be one little thing at the beginning and then people just start flipping off of it. Because they could have thought, oh. like, I don't know, because TikTok might have thought that it was violent or something. Yeah, that too. We just, we just don't know. They're just like, yep, guns, gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, Good job, oh dude. Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> That's nuts. That's really good. That's not just, like, a decent video. That's a crazy good video. Oh. Nah, Hell that's yeah. That's fine. I was going to say, I should go live on TikTok, too. Whatever. <sighs> hey, Jack. Oh, we don't have the... M we get the mics hooked up to the other thing. Oh, let me do this set. Let me see if this has set, has battery. 100k gang let's go i'm gonna go live on tiktok while we're doing this too shout out to jack with the fresh fade hell yeah the powerful jack all right guys bjj jack i can't believe that it's got 112 thousand views now that's insane dope what's up how does that compare to what you've done in the past? Same? Yeah, but at the same time, that quick, it's very fast. It's very, oh, yeah. like, there's times where I'll leave here and we'll generally be, like, on a good video that goes on to do a lot of views. Um, let, me, let me set up this live really quick. Okay. I'm going to put that here. And then you can... Just keep it on us. Um, yeah. Am Thanks I on everyone Wi-Fi? for watching. Yep, yep. Go ahead. It's pretty awesome. Um, so like we'll be in the maybe like the 50, 60k range um, yeah. on a video. They're generally not a hundred thousand when I leave. So like just to leave it sitting where it was and then come back and it's like exploded like that. Dude, it's nuts. Oh yeah, I need that Wagner. Okay. What's up? All right, so we are doing more windshield protection um, video stuff. So this is on my personal car. We're doing the ceramic version, and I have not shrunk this stuff with this heat gun yet. So I'm really interested to try that. That is Marco. Hello. The film trainer. Um, he came out here uh, with a bunch of film for us to waste <laughs> and, yes, uh, and is teaching a lot of people how to do it. You guys are wondering what I'm wearing too. This is my GoPro headset. This is so I can stream on YouTube. So let's uh, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna start with the top here. And let me know if people have questions. I'm more than happy to answer any questions about this because this is just a different thing altogether. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. Um, can you hand me that white card there? Thank you. I like the white and red of this card too. It looks nice. Put this over Dude, that was set. so easy with the glasses. Cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Me neither. I like it. Definitely a fan. 
because that's remember what I was saying. Like installers that are doing this, they're yeah. going to struggle with the cutting portion. And I this, struggle this with the cutting it. portion. Heck yeah. I, that's what I wondered for the longest time. Like if you can't, um, I didn't even think about seeing the edge. It was more just trying to get that cut right against the rubber. Right. Cut with confidence, more precise, and a lot faster. So, look at that. Yeah, and it hasn't released off the bottom from sitting there and being wet, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, I would still be a little paranoid of water sitting in those edges, so maybe like an alcohol spray or something, but just making sure that they're thoroughly cleaned out. Beautiful. What are we doing? We're doing windshield protection tint. So this is actually a tint that goes on the outside of the window. Um, this is made to protect against rock chips. We just posted a really crazy video where we shoot some glass um, with some BB guns, and then we shoot it with the film. Someone asked, have you tinted the inside of the window? Yeah, there's t actually tint on the inside right now. So this is the ceramic version though. So it's got a little bit of a blue hue and it's a little bit darker. There's a clear version of this. And the inside of my windshield right now is ceramic tinted already with a 50%. So this is gonna look even darker than what it usually does. But the nice thing is there's the clear version. So, I mean, essentially nobody knows that it's on there unless you were to tell mm -hmm. them it's on there. Um, you can ceramic coat it. It's not going to help against raid. It's going to help against all the road debris getting kicked up on your windshield. So you don't have to then replace your windshield. And heat rejection from the sun. And the ceramic is with the heat rejection, yes. So the reason you would want to get like ceramic window tint is to help manage the heat. Um, so this being the ceramic version, that's extra nice because then you don't have to also ceramic tint the inside, you can just do everything on the outside. Um, someone wants to know if you had a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> um, magically making all the dirt disappear. Actually, probably teleporting. I think teleporting would be the best. What about you, Marco? Travel takes too much time. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this is probably The similar. power to heal like Wolverine. Ah, or that. Yeah. That's probably a pretty good one. I love Wolverine. That's why when Joe Rogan was uh, talking about Wolverine, it's like, all right, I got to do this. All right, nice. so another annoying thing is if you don't remove the wipers, the wipers are extremely annoying. Or come from this side and cut this way. Might be easier. Cool. Ooh, I got that. Good job. I got that way easier. I still got to cut this side. Yeah, <laughs> let me cut this. I'd love to talk about it. I can talk about all my streaming stuff for way too long. But if you wanna see this perspective, you can go to uh, Tint Studio on YouTube. That's where um, I do all my regular streams. TikTok is a little newer to me. So this, feed off my head goes to my PC. Um, there's literally like, I'm like wired up like a TV station. 
Oh, that was, yeah, that was nice. Oh, I like that too. Okay, so I should uh, rough trim this yes. first. I think that's what I always miss. Rough trim it, because I'm like, oh, I should exact trim it and then heat it out, but rough trim it. Or you can leave it. a little bit extra, like maybe a half inch to an inch, so you have something to grab on. Okay. Should be fine. Oh my God, because yeah, we haven't even unrolled this stuff yet. We just <laughs> for okay. my steps. Like it's it's funny to me how this is like so new that I'm I'm forgetting like what steps that I, in my mind it's like we're already almost installing it, but no. No, we gotta do some stuff. Uh, someone asked, wouldn't the wipers ruin the film? I mean they can if there's if you don't thoroughly clean these. So after you get this installed you wanna clean your wipers really, really good. Like after every time you wash your car, clean the wipers. Yep. Just some things, because think of this as a big screen protector for yes. your windshield. There is going to be some care that you need to take for something like this. It isn't just as um, free and easy going as, Definitely as you requires might maintenance. want. But, for sure. Yep, a little bit of maintenance on it. Um, yes, this one has built-in tint. Yep. So this is what a big old piece of it looks like. Is this the clear too? No, this is both the, the ceramic, all right. So this is what it looks like off the glass right now. And right against white paint, you can see it's got a little bit of a blue hue. It's got ceramic in it. Um, and this is gonna meter, let's find out. If I, can, if I can find my meter, yep, there it is. Let's see what shade this is right now. I believe like 60 something percent. Let's put this over. 70, so this meter's right at 70%. So it's gonna be clear enough, but it's got a little bit of a color to it. So you'll, you'll notice that when you're brand new to it. Um, but there is this clear one right here. We can pull off a section here. So if you don't want any color or any um, look to it, you just want it protected, that's what this stuff is for. This is at 86 right now, so. 86 is really, really light. It's, and there's no color or anything, so it's damn near clear. Someone said it looks a little polarized. A little polarized? Uh, that might be with the cameras and the lighting and stuff. So there's, you can sometimes see a little bit more coloring, um, just, just some of the colors out of it under normal lighting conditions, but when you pull it outside, it's where it's a lot less noticeable. What was the VLT? Um, the VLT on that is 86, and then the VLT on the ceramic is 70. All right, so this is all cut, so now I can pull this stuff off. Yeah, that was nice. For reals. Like, yep. no kidding. Yep. That just made it way more user-friendly. <laughs> I know when I first started using this, like I was, that was the biggest issue for even for me. Yeah. I'm a plotter baby. Uh huh. Like I know how to hand cut, but that was the biggest part. Like, especially with the, the non floating glass, like on the top, these seals are tight and you don't want to. That's cool. Definitely don't want to cut anything. Oh, um, so I just cut the top. Should I shrink this a little bit more or just yeah, leave I it would, as is? Yeah, I would lay it a little bit. Just a little bit more. All right, cool. That's what I did. That I'm excited to see if it comes to Texas San Antonio feedback. If what does? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess I'm guessing no. Oh yeah, this is available worldwide. Oh yeah, this is this is not like my own product or anything. This is, like I'm literally new to this product, Matico. So that blue towel there, like Matico, is a big window film company. They have they make protection films. They make window films. So they have a lot of options. They have a lot of dealers around the country. So if this is something that you're interested in checking out, reach out to Matico. Um, they'll have a dealer locator. So you could just Google Matico dealer locator and then start figuring out where to go to get something like this. And then same thing, if you're a shop, get in touch with Matico. Um, you can check out Matico's or Clearplex. Um, they have an Instagram and they've got a link that helps get you in touch with people. But yeah, I'm like, total green um, to this product and company and everything. So this is all learning for me as much as it is any of you guys. Okay, looking good. Ready, let's install this baby. Let me check, make sure I have enough water. 
You know, I got a question too. Would you ever, like, you know that painter's plastic? Yeah. So I would assume, okay, so anytime, I guess I would install this, I would also make sure that my vehicle is probably washed before I do that. Mm -hmm. But you know that the painter, uh, the 3M rolls with the tape, if the tape was better, putting that over the top just to kind of keep this stuff out of the way, or is this really not an issue when you need you're installing? You to keep the dirt from coming from here mm -hmm. to here. Yeah. That would definitely be a good idea, an extra step in prepping. Yeah, I mean, that, I've never thought of that. Okay, cool. I would, I would always just have everything clean. Just wait. But yeah, it for sure. Okay. I like that. See, this is why we, we need community. Yeah, everybody's got different other. perspectives on it. For sure. It's from a, from a dirt perspective, like when you're installing this, you want to make sure, it's all about making sure the outside is clean. When I'm doing window tint, this doesn't matter as much. It's all about like, we'll wipe a little bit around the edges and stuff. Um, but it's always about the interior, protecting the interior, so. Okay. All right, so we're gonna roll this up? Yes, sir. Roll it up like a burrito. <laughs> This stuff is expensive. Um, so on the exotic blazer, uh, it's <laughs> not gonna make as much sense for the average person. But that being said, we just replaced a Challenger windshield um, and paid $600 to do that. That didn't need a recalibration or anything. So this on a regular car is probably gonna retail anywhere between what, five, 600 bucks? Yes. Okay. Yep. If you have a much more difficult car that is gonna range in price, um, so, especially if you're in a state, like we were talking, if you're in a state like Florida, that doesn't always make as much sense because you get a free windshield every year. But if you're trying to protect your Lambo, oh, then sure. you're going to want something like this too. Like that so. Bugatti that I was working on, the windshield was 60K. 60. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. A lot of money. Right. So this is just right now, it's in a different league. Um, but I, I've seen so many more people talk about this stuff lately, and it seems like competition is heating up, and that means prices then are going to start to to fall down. So, like for this example, that painter's tape would help with all this. This extra yep. little trash up here, yeah. Yep. That's really what I was thinking about. I'm so used to not washing cars when I pull them in to do tint or anything, because you just don't need to. But I don't do any exterior stuff. It doesn't look like there's soap in that one. Um, thank God for backups. All right, I'm gonna wait till he's done. You're good. He's doing his uh, his triple fold on that. I think this will be the best one yet. What was that? What kind of tip is that on a, on the sprayer? So I've got the fan tip on this one. He's got the cone tip on that one, but he's also got the Tint Buster backpack, which has, an, what tip is that? <laughs> um, it's just, a, it's angled down. It's um, an angled plastic uh, I don't know what LU calls it, but it's orange. I like it. It just shoots out a lot more water than the other ones. Cool. Are you doing some testing for him? No, he just, um, the, all the new Tint Busters come with that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They're constantly... I have an extra one if you want one. They're changing quite a bit of the stuff. Um, it's been cool. It's been so cool to see all the stuff that he's been doing for right. it. Yeah, Audubon just picked those up, too. Right. Yep. He's so good at two-staging. He's the two-stage goat. I want to see you two battle. Two-stage. Okay, where That'd he's got me beat, he's got a video of doing a... Uh, Lexus IS 300, like the 2006 one. Is that um, the one where the front door slopes down and it has that little piece of glass? It's the, so the, it like, it's got this old rubber panel and then it's got the speaker in the way and it comes, to, yeah, it comes down to like this much. Oh, and that's the IS 250. IS 250, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that I take one, those panels off. I looked up, uh, I, I looked up how to do that one and I saw his video and then I tried it and I still couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm like, screw that car. Yeah. Okay, roll this up like a burrito. Okay, so what we did, we peeled the liner. Um, so that's like, it's basically a big sticker. So we peeled the whole liner, we're rolling it up and we're going to do what is called reverse rolling and we're gonna roll it back out on this. 
So this was all prep um, and stuff to get this film ready. Um, and then we're going to spray this back off. And install it. Um, I'm in Sterling Heights, uh, Michigan. All right, go ahead. So I'm not Detroit, Detroit, but I'm in the Metro Detroit area. Let's uh, squeeze it one more time. Detroit Tent Studio status. I like using this one better. <laughs> okay. I'm so much more used to this little Wait until one. you try that other one. Yeah, I'm excited to get that. I bought two different sizes of it just to just to try. Oh, I missed that little bit in the beginning. I'm such a window tinner. What part? Uh, oh. That center bit right there. Oh. Oh, good. Here. Oh. We're probably good then? Yeah. All right. All right. Then we're gonna unroll. How long? It, how long is the warranty? Warranty is eighteen, 18, 18 months, months or eighteen thousand miles, whichever comes first. Eighteen, eighteen. So is that if your windshield gets cracked, do they pay for a replacement or do they pay for like a new clear plex? A new clear. I don't. Or do like is there any type of damage? No, there's no damage. Okay. Warranty. It's only if the film fails. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a little bit more grabby, but all good. Oh, it's being grabby? Yep. There, there. we go. Let me get this out of here, and then I don't want to let this drop on the back. That extra little bit. All right. So now we have... So we have the top a little overlapped. We're just lining up all the side edges and stuff. This also has a ceramic coating on it, so that's going to make it a little bit harder to slide this stuff into place. But there's just a little gap border around the whole thing with this. Switch this over here. All right, I'm impressed with the cutting, for sure. So with the first pass, we want to go light. Start in the middle, and then work your way out. And you're, you're trying to um, evenly distribute all the bubbles and just get everything kind of like laying nice and smooth on the glass. And then we'll go over it with a harder pass, which will basically like iron it down to the glass. I got a couple little guys right there. And it, it's like PPF, so if you get like a ghosting or like a little dry spot, champagne mm -hmm. just bring water back into the area and squeeze it harder, and it'll go away. I think I got a dirt speck there that I want to try and see how, how is that to take care of. How many did you shrink that? Yes. Yes, we shrank that much earlier. And we did a different technique to doing it, too. What's it for? It is to protect your windshield. From rock chips, road debris, BBs. <laughs> <laughs> BB guns. Kids shooting your car with BB guns. Oh, God. I think I made it worse, like, 10. Kids. Get a soft squeegee, and you can squeegee out the, the film. If hmm. you need to push out more, you can squeegee out the adhesive side if there's a bunch of glue or um, dirt. <laughs> All right. Okay. Pretty good. And then from there, we pick up the beefier squeegees. Yes. So you start in the center on this. Let me um, sweat through. Uh, there is tint on the inside of the windshield already. Yep. All right. Yep. Go for it. Oh yeah, I like this squared one, for sure. Do you need to shrink your tint? Yes. You always have to shrink tint. Tint is flat, your glass has curve to it. 
So think of it like you're molding it to the window to fit the shape. Otherwise, it's not gonna lay flat. You're gonna have a lot of issues along all the edges. So we're like, you'll hear the term fingers. There you go, good job. Center out. It was so, so interesting to me because like I've just had my head in window tint for so long that like I get the process that's going on here, but I really do have a problem with like steps out of place and just like wait when do I do this when do I do that? Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, you're doing good. Getting the hang of it. Uh, yes, you can. Pre you can purchase the. Clearplex, the non-nano ceramic version, pre-shrunk and cut. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Yep, they actually will have somebody do all that for you. And then you get the kit, and then you can install it on your own. How much for a full car? Um, it's going to retail for about uh, five or 600 bucks on a regular car. Oh, yeah. No problem. Do this one. How about those, so I've got this guy too. Do you ever use like these types of squeegees on it? Or they're just not hard enough? They're not hard enough, no. Okay. This is almost like a security, security foam. It's gotcha. Really, really thick. It would be easier to take off the window to tint it. Um, the problem would be damaging the glass, so unless you're really good at that, or if you are getting your car windshield replaced, um, you could have this installed before you have your windshield put on your car. You'd have to have a good, if you're, so if you're an installer, you'd have to have a nice setup to do that, but you definitely could. Um, so yes, you can buy the ready fit kits. All you have to do is, yep, clean and apply. Correct. You are right. And the other question was, can you shrink sideways? Um, not really, but you can put a little heat on the side fingers and it will lay down. Good question. I would say 600 bucks. Currently use... So for this stuff, um, it's just in a different thing from Lexan. Um, Got it. I, like for, for window tent, um, four door Wrangler, all the sides in the rear, I would start at 290. when you pull the backing off when it's on the outside? I don't understand that question. They're wondering about the whole reverse roll process. Okay. How was it not sticking to the liner? No, uh, how does it stick to the glass? So there's... So, oh, okay. So we use a soapy water and that's gonna allow the tint not to stick and grab the glass. So it allows us to move the film in, into where we want it to be. Yeah, so Got it. this is basically a giant sticker. Um, that's kind of how all window tent works too. So let me, if I can peel this in just a sec for you. This is much thicker than what I'm used to. So I peel this backing and then this will stick to pretty much anything you put it on. Um, so when you spray it with soapy water, that allows the film to slide around um, and then this dries out, and then the adhesive doesn't get damaged or anything, so then it sticks to the glass. So what you're seeing here is a wet application. Um, we peel the liner off as we put it on. And then as it dries out, like there's still water in between the film and the glass, that's what all the squeegees were for, that it'll, it'll all dry out. Everything but the dirt. The dirt will not go away. So that's why you do all the cleaning. And cross your fingers. A little bit of crossing your fingers. I'm getting more used to the Ninja Blade. I got a really, really good cut. With really? It. Yeah. Nice. I'm a fan. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that that's the most that's the funniest statement. Like I I always thought the tint goes on the inside. It does. Tint goes on the inside. Um, it is the number one comment that I get when doing an insulation process. This isn't actually an exterior tint to help protect the glass, so it's just a different thing. That question will always be there. Yeah, and even the process of tinting, um, that all happens on the outside um, for all the prep forming it to the glass because you just have space to work with, and then it goes on the inside. Baby shampoo and Dawn for slip solution. That's what I was using. Um, degreasers are bad for window tint, so I'm no longer using Dawn. The good thing is I never had any failures, so if that's what you're using, I mean, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, but um, we actually had to get a slip solution made, um, and that's, that's this stuff. That's called um, tint slip. So this is working really well. I'm actually able to use less her spray tank, which is really nice. About three ounces in my spray tank is working really, really well. Cool, man. I got that little corner I'm gonna trim off. I've gotta trim off that edge a little bit better. Nice. Looks good. I mean, it's definitely gonna be darker than... Yes, yes, sure. definitely darker because the windshield is tinted. Can you meter it? Do you have a, a meter I that? I don't have the magnetic one. Oh, I do. But I think I have one. Oh, you do? Yeah. Look Let's at see you go. Is. I want to see the magnetic one. I made it. Did you see my TikTok with the meter over the top inch of the glass? Uh oh. Oh, that was a good one. I was like, police have the tint meters, and then I showed them just the one that measures the top portion of the glass. So oh, is this one mag? This one separates. Yeah. So <gasps> wait for it to get to a hundred. It's so little. <laughs> I've Very seen the big though. ones. So you got like this. Oh, I need that one. That one's so little. That's cool. 36%. No shit. Woo. Oh, and that was faster too. 36%. These are the same ones that law enforcement uses. So, so I'll... <laughs> no. Wait, where's my, where's my other meter here? All right, I'll do it on... I'll do it. Oh, there it is. No. See, this is what I said oh. law enforcement use. Oh, and okay. Then the TikTok, I cut the top into the the tint off on the door. I'll show you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it uh, was a good meme. This looks like a 30... I don't know. I can't really tell. So this will zero out. Oh, no. You're so strong, you just slammed it. No, just oh. turn it off and on. It's good. Uh, okay, there, there we go. go. So it's at 100, so let's put this over here. And then the magnets keep it in line. So this is metering at 25 right now. So this was... Uh, nice. 30, 35% um, is what this was. So that's interesting. There's a little dirt there too, though. Someone said, is the material similar to PPF or is it more like security film? Uh, I would say it's more like security film than PPF, yes. Yep, 87. So it's right in long line with the other meters so as far as accuracy that's cool tent. to see. So this is 100. Let's put this over. Always make sure your meters are accurate too. Yep, 87. They're identical to each other. That's, that's awesome. So it's right where it's, this is, I'm going to get one of these. These are super cool. They just separate like this. You get the little magnets. Oh, I didn't think they made, so the system that I saw years ago, the magnetic one, it was in a uh -huh. case similar to what I bought this for, but it was like, it was way bigger. It was about this big. It was just big oh, and okay. chunky. This thing's so little. Yeah. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. You just have to remember to turn it off. Yeah. Or like when you're traveling, it sometimes can get turned on. That's why I have extra batteries. That's Someone said cool. to start off tinting, is it a hard thing to learn? Tinting cars, it is difficult to learn. There's a lot of little things that you can do to try and make it easier. So the easiest way like to install a door window is to honestly pull the bottom seal. So you see a lot of people doing that nowadays. Um, but yep. there's, there is a lot of learning curve with window tinting. But your cost to get into it is a lot cheaper. So buy some cheap film, buy some tools, and just start going at it and see how you like it. And now, like compared to 20 years ago, there's a bunch of resources like Match Channel. You can learn anywhere. 
Yeah. On YouTube, TikTok. That's a good point. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of resources now. There's so many videos. Like, go binge watch lots of YouTube videos. Watch every channel that you can. You'll get a good idea of the whole process. Get some film, get some tools, and just try it out. Yeah. Dang, I got some ceramic over ceramic. It's good. Gotta All right. Hey. <laughs> Gabriel with the five, thank you. Thank you for all the info. Best stream by far. Now I have to help the wife and boy. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. You have a good one, okay? What was the question? Um, what are your thoughts on ceramics as blocking film? Uh, I love ceramic. So honestly, it, it more clicked this winter than anything because we, we got a new vehicle this winter. Um, I drove it for a, mount, a month without ceramic. And normally I say, you notice it in the summertime, but it doesn't matter as much in the wintertime. But we actually did notice it a lot in the winter because what happens is that sun comes through your glass and you still warm up the inside of your car. So you have that heat coming through at different points. And like, so if you're sitting in traffic, you feel heat hitting your skin. Um, and it starts to like, you're constantly adjusting your heat or it's making you uncomfortable. What ceramic does is it's, it's like, it's almost like insulation. It, it's a barrier, and it helps maintain the temperature of whatever you set your cabin at. So in the summertime, it helps keep it cooler. In the wintertime, honestly, it just helps make the drive more comfortable, like all times of the year. I, I really like having it. Someone asked, how much does the headgear weigh? <laughs> headgear, not bad, honestly. It's nicely balanced. I was going to talk about that a little bit, too. So you see these little antennas here. Um, there's that. There is a smaller battery right here so that powers both the gopro that's in the media mod and it powers the uh the transmitter on the back so this is just like a wireless video transmitter for like what they would use on like hollywood production sets it's just the smallest one i could find this was like 600 bucks um and it just keeps a nice consistent video feed so when you come over here um if you go to my YouTube channel, this is the feed that's here. So when I look around, keep the camera faced on that. Like, I can look anywhere, I can work on a car, and then I still have a clean video feed going to my PC. So, yeah, well, with the five, thank you so much. So we're streaming on YouTube as well. Now close the doors and let the draws drop. Super clean. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was fun. That was. That was, a really good, uh, that was a really good install on this. It was cool to use the, the glass aid on this one start to finish and just Yeah, play. I'm going to, in all of my trainings, I'm going to definitely implement that. Damn, dude. Because it's just easier. It was, it was really easy to see the pit. edge. I was super nervous on, on that edge. Right. But then, yeah, I'm really familiar with cutting on the glass aid. So. And then installers that are not comfortable cutting, like you can literally see them with their hands shaking, you know. Right. Because I'm on a rental car and they're trying to cut <laughs> and they're shaking. Because they're not used to hand cutting because they're, you know, mainly used plotters. Yeah. So that's going to just make it a lot easier. That's cool. What was so. that? Wherever you come, we can do the same yes, thing live. Yes, that's oh, Jamal. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is Chamal. In yeah, Chamal's got an awesome. He's got the yes, like same does. type of live stream setup. Yes. Yeah, quite a few yep. installers have this live stream setup now. Yep. It's cool. It's see, cool to see. You're inspiring. You're inspiring, man. It's cool to see. All righty. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up today. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll do some more stuff here soon. So, bye. Yep. All good. I think that X up here. Sorry, we're boomers. <laughs> wow, there was actually a lot of people on that. Yeah, nice. It, 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 would, it went down a little bit to like 800, and then it bounced back up to like 1,000. Wow. 1,500, nice. and then it go, went back down to 800, and then it bounced back up to... Wow. Like no shit. Yeah, so it, and we just posted that video. That's awesome. 167,000 views. I think you got a lot of followers. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's the awesome. Goat. With the goat. Yeah, it was cool. It didn't just like blow up and then die. It kind of blew up a little bit, went down a little bit, and then and then came nice. out. Oh, that's super oh, cool. Yeah. No that's way. <laughs> we are not doing a brick on this one. I saw a brick. A brick is a bad idea. When, when people do the this. side windows, why do they leave a little gap at the top of the window? Um, so when you're hand cutting, yeah. um, doing like a micro gap, you can make them like stupid tight where they're really hard to see. Uh, it just depends on your skill level. Some people are just, 
either lazy or inexperienced. So when they cut, they'll leave a, a bigger gap and not even notice it necessarily. So the biggest thing is to make sure that it's consistent. Um, as long as it's consistent, even if it was a little bigger, it doesn't need to be, but even if it was a little bit bigger, it That's wouldn't be a big problem. That's why it's crucial to get... The ninja blade. No, oh, it's damn. crucial to have your soap <laughs> mix. Like, you need to have your, your soap mix, like, dialed in. So, like, when you're squeegeeing the top portion, it locks in instead of when you roll it up, it might the film might shift out. Measuring out slip solutions, I think, is going to be more of a thing. Yeah, I've never sure. really measured slip solutions oh. other than, like, the, about this much, yeah. and I kind of know what to look for. Eight but drops. Do eight <laughs> drops in your... Yeah, that's what uh, installers do. I find that just uh, with measuring your soap, you get more consistent results. Mm. But obviously, there's baseline numbers. And right. It just depends on your environment. Okay. Uh, do you have to use distilled water? No, it's just got to be clean water. That's all. So you can, like, keep a filter. Um, there's, like, a couple different filters, too. So I've got just a drinking water filter on, um, like, I fill my tank up in the sink. And then uh, there's just a drinking water filter in there, so all the water that's going in has been filtered in some way, shape, or form. And in these brass sprayers and the plastic ones, there's these mesh filters right in the ends. So you just put that in there. That helps, and then you can also do an inline filter if you want. That becomes a little overkill. Most of any dirt that you're going to have in your window tint is just going to be a lot of, like, you know, environmental or inexperience. That is a good question. What? Uh, there's a myth with certain ceramic films you can see. Well, it depends on the film that you're using. Lower quality film, like the optical clarity, is really bad. Yeah, so that's true. So always go with the higher, higher end product. Um, yeah, sometimes ceramic can seem like it's a little easier to see through, yeah. but it's it's not just a trademark of being ceramic. It really just comes down to like testing out this film versus that film. So you're always smarter if you just do a lot of comparisons yourself. Like pick up samples or buy some rolls off of a bunch of different companies, like ones that you're interested in using, and then put them on your own car. And don't just put them on the whole window. Do like a strip here, a strip there, and be your own best critic. It's so fun to do things that way. Did you check out the meme? It's on oh, Facebook. Oh, put, no. Can you put it on there? It's on Facebook. You can't Is it, it in on, the group? Can you can't put it on the stream, can you? Oh, my God. That's going to be so funny. Uh, I could show it on my phone and just hold oh. it up to the camera. That'd be the easiest way. I could go to the desktop, but this will be... No, you're good, man. Did some, what? It's on Facebook Messenger. Look, you mean somebody posted it in the group? Because I'll check it out if it's posted I in the group. It's in the messenger. Yeah, but who's messenger? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> mine. Maybe you send it to me. Let me check. Did you send it to Marco? <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so funny. Because this is the latest stuff in the group right now. Um. Hey, it's us. I Look, got. We're in the group. Yo, I got nothing on my end. He probably sent it to you. Darren. Yeah, I don't I don't have it either. Detroit? Detroit message. Oh. Oh, I don't check that very often. <laughs> um, let me see if I can if I can pull that up. How do I switch? I always forget this. Okay, Detroit Tint Studio. <laughs> there it is. Let me see. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's a little tough to read up here, but it says, "Welcome to LA Fitness. After your workout, let's tint your car." <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, I think I can do a better. You should one. post that that's in the funny. Facebook group too. Hundred percent. I think I want to make one now. <laughs> I want to make one now. Let me do it real quick. Thanks for the work <clears throat> to the, into that. Oh my God, I love. See, that's why you guys are so fun. That's funny. I'll do one real quick. You don't. Quick. You don't get that out of just making videos and stuff. <laughs> that's why these live streams are so funny. It's a lot of like shop talk and stuff too. They're good fun. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> oh man. How do you start pricing cars? Um, 
I mean, I come from window tinning, so I know what a lot of shops were charging in my area, so I just started charging similar pricing to that. So good way to find out is you can literally call around and ask what somebody would charge for a car. So just say like, hey, I have this car, how much to get tinted? And you can find out pricing really easily. Pricing varies across the country. Um, it depends on area, demographic and stuff, but everybody is pushing norms with that kind of stuff too. So just because certain shops are charging X amount doesn't mean that's the most that you can charge. That just means that's what people are used to paying right now. Yeah, I try to match your colors. <laughs> It's pretty good. How much more for a mobile service? Um, I don't know, figure out your costs um, and wrap it all in one. So don't say this, it's extra for a mobile service, just this is how much it costs to come out there and get your car done. Um, unless you have a shop that they can bring it to and then also have that extra price when you go mobile. Because there's a lot of people that think it's the other way around. When they provide the space, it should be cheaper. Um, so it's, marketing is, marketing and sales is definitely um, a trial and error type of thing. Watch lots of sales videos. Um, do you have any good like sales training recommendations? Hmm. Like any channels or something that's a that good, one. good um, resources you know, just to get. You know what? There's this guy on TikTok that he does really good sales. Yeah, hold on. Let me find him real quick. We'll try and find a TikTok for you. I'm trying to think of his name. I know he's in Florida. But that's a really good question because the way I figure out a lot of this stuff too is I've been around the industry, but trial and error to myself, and then I watch lots of YouTube videos. Let me put him on. And then I just listen to customer's reaction and try and see what I can say better. I should probably script stuff, too. How much more would you say would you charge for me? Where can I buy pre quality pre-cut tint? Um, so you not shrunk tint. Nobody I know does, like, pre-shrunk window tint kits. But tintzoom.com, they have um, GeoShield window tint kits that you can actually get. So you know you're getting something good there. Matt, how do I go to my save? There's a lot of kit sites. How do I go to my save videos? Uh, I think it's one of these tabs up oh. here. Here he is right here. Oh, cool. Learn with Renee. All right. This one. Go on TikTok, go to this guy, learn with Renee, and you can play back the video if you need to save it. He has a bunch of sales, different different sales techniques. Oh, that's cool. He's good. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. There's a lot of that, too, on TikTok. I love TikTok. It's like my learning channel. <laughs> I, sure. I, I do the same. I'm always learning. There's a lot of, like, how to get more views on TikTok videos that post up that I'm like, mm, no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All righty. That was fun, dude. That was cool. We got to yeah. do it again. All righty, guys. I think that's going to call it for today. Mm. Yeah, it's almost two. Time is getting. We got a couple other little things that we got to do. We got to drop some film off and stuff. I see tons of mobile guys in Florida. I'm in Central Cali and not one mobile guy on all Central Coast. Why would that be? Because of the weather? I have to imagine there would be, but I don't know. Um, you, they, I, I don't have a good answer why there wouldn't be. I would expect there would be too, but maybe they're just hard to find, bad search, or yeah, they just don't exist. Yep. But wherever there's a market opening like that, somebody will fill it. And there's no reason why you cannot be that person to fill that gap. Cannon. How are you guys doing? We had like 700 to 1,000 people on TikTok too at the same time.
I'm probably that weird guy now with the headset. Oh my god. Any strips for, any tips for shrinking front windshield screen? I've got a lot of videos. Um, every in every live stream, I try and point out what I do for shrinking a windshield. I suggest definitely check those out because shrinking. Pay attention to all the steps. Don't miss anything. Shrinking is just making sure that you're doing all the right steps and looking for the right thing. H pattern. Um, make sure there's at the very least you do like a dryer sheet underneath it, like a a nice one, like bounce or snuggles. Those are good ones. And then don't move too fast. All right, so let's shout out some super dupers. I watched all of your videos. Then try again. It's tough. Like, it is tough to... It's tough to learn. Get some film, get some tools, try it, watch videos, try it again. It's all trial and error. Thank you. If there's anything in particular that I can help point out, because just tips on shrinking a windshield is like, that's, that's what all the, the videos are there for. So I try and put as much information in all those videos that I can. Even take a video of yourself doing it and compare that to what the video looks like itself. Before logging off, uh, will you and Marco talk more about tint training and next availability? Um, well, for me, I got a class coming up in May. That's going to be the first week of May. And then for Marco. I am going to be, when is my next training? Um, not until May. Okay. Sometime in May. Do you have like, is that like an open class that people can um, sign up for? Or is that for? No, I'm going to a specific shop. Uh, I could definitely work. Whoever wants to get trained on something, just reach out to me. We'll work something out. Yep. For sure. So you can do that okay. at the tinttrainer.com. They can find you there. The film or at least trainer. like the film, film sorry. The film trainer. Let me type that too. Thank you. The film <laughs> trainer.com. Or the film trainer on all social medias, yep. Instagram, TikTok, all those. <laughs> is it, is that, that eight serious? six eight five? Yeah, that would be. That definitely looks like a legit order number. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 do we'll something. Find a piece of paper, your we'll paper. spit on every. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave him, I'll give him a little present. Who is that, Burner That's account? Burner account, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? He's here all the time. Hell yeah, man. Your computer mic is much lower. Uh, it was messing up last time. I think you're right, though. I have to adjust the gain, or unless I get, like, really close or something. Uh, yes. I want to place an order today. Is he the rep for Seattle? I'll take the spit. Anything works. <laughs> uh, he's not. No, he's not the rep for Seattle. But you can send him a message, and he can put you in touch with the with the people if you need. Oh! Oh no way! Dude, those are those are rare, or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, they, these are rare. I feel like they're rare now. Because, like, they ran out. Dude. There you go, burner account. Oh, where's the phone? There you go. For you. Damn. That's the Tint Whiz one. Nope. There you go. That's super nice. We'll put this in his order. Yep. We'll make sure that gets in there. All righty. Um, we're going to shout out some supers real quick. Um... Big shout outs to Daniel Reyna, Gabriel, Daniel Reyna, Daniel Reyna, Brandon, Cash, Top Tint Service, Sean, Christ, Top Tint Service, Swole Gang, Gabriel, and yeah, well, thank you so much for all the supers today. You guys are really, really nice.
I hope you guys had a lot of fun these past couple days. Oh, and Texas Tint Pro says, whoever wants some, message him. He's got, he's got extra ones. That's cool. There'll be like a black market for those. <laughs> That's cool. Um, all righty. Well, we're going to sign off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.